Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. Why am I in a squat position? Is that because this is an intro for my video, which is called Squat Talk. I have another channel called Squat Talk, but I'm bringing all the videos to my main channel, Strong with Raj. The basic idea is that I will make a video and speak to you guys in a squat position. And I'm hoping and requesting that you will also listen and watch the video in a squat position. There could be anywhere from two to four to maybe eight minutes. This will ensure that I am in a squat position on a regular basis, maybe daily. And also it can help you if you want to be able to go back to the roots and be comfortable in taking a position of squat. As you know, I'm big into strength training, big into back squats, deadlifts and other things. But this particular playlist is just about being able to be in a squat position like we always have been and maybe restart and recreate that habit that we've forgotten to be in a squat position. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to daily squat number nine. We're getting close to those two digits. So in this squat video, I want to make sure that I give you one tip to make it easy for you. Yes. Why make it easy? So that you can stay on the path. By making it easier, you're making the task manageable. I am sure that not many of you can be in this position for more than a minute. I'm guessing. And uh, I want you to continue doing this. And the only way to make sure that you continue doing this is by making it a little easier. I know human body and human mind very well. We always seek path of least resistance. But at the same time, we do, we do want to achieve things which are not easy, which are harder. How do you make sure that you achieve those things? You can only achieve those things by making it a little easier each time and then removing those easy steps slowly. So, I urge you to go get this stool from any, I think uh, Bunnings will have it or any of the dollar shop, even Woolies and Coles might have it. Just a little stool to help you sit. In this position, you are still in a squat position. If you look from here, you can see that my hip is below the patella, the top of my knee. And you are somewhat in a squat position. And slowly, you can make this little stool lower and lower. And I will actually bring some products later on if there is enough following of all these things. But I don't need this because I can just chill here. So yes, please make it easy for you. You don't have to squat right deep like me and then suffer and then give up because that's the worst. That's a that's what I that's not what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to continue doing it and get the benefits of this simple thing that we call squat. Make sure you are in this position with me with some sort of aid if you're not able to. Don't be standing, don't be sitting on a couch watching this video. So there has been times that I've used this tool many times and uh, it has helped me to get to where I am. And uh, yeah, so please make it easy. Second point in the video is what is a squat position? It's a bit of a anatomy 101, so to speak, okay? Before that, you need to learn two little concepts which are sort of necessary for most people if they want to do some exercise and stuff. One is called flexion. You would say, oh, he's flexing his biceps. No. I am contracting my biceps. What I'm flexing is my elbows. My elbows are straight. My elbows are bent. Just think of the joints right now. My elbows are bent. My elbows are straight. Think of me now as a skeleton with just bones. My elbows is, will not be able to be bent. It needs muscles which has the stored energy to move something which is not moving. So the contraction of muscles helps a joint move. The muscles contract and joint extend or flex. Got it? Flexion of the elbow, extension of the elbow. So now tell me what's happening with my knee. 
flexing. What's happening with my hip? Flexing. In this position, we are in flexion of knees and hips. Side view. They are bent, they are in flexion. We will not worry about the muscles at this stage. All we have to know is that when you are in standing position, the knee and hip are extended. And if you find someone in the gym who is doing a squat or he thinks he's doing a squat and doing this, you have full permission to tell him, hey mate, you're not squatting. You're only bending your knee knees mostly. A squat is a function of bending your knees and hips at the same time. If you're here, you're not at the parallel. At the least, to get the most out of it, it has to be just below parallel. But we are doing a squat, which is a resting position. Remember, it's a passive squat. It's to be comfortable, like those people in Asia and other countries where you can just do things in this position. Use their hands. So, knees and hips should be bent or flexed together, at least below parallel. And by that, you match it with the floor and... Uh, what is happening to muscles right now to when you are squat and you are maintaining that position like this? We will talk about mostly um, quads. The quadriceps are lengthening. They are becoming long. When I stand up like this, they become short. This is called concentric contraction. You don't have to remember this. When you go down, in order for the knees to bend, the quadriceps will become longer and they call eccentric eccentric contraction getting longer there are many muscles involved when we are doing a squat there are two joints involved when we're doing a squat which is what makes it compound movement and that is where the magic is because there are two joints to be moved which is flexed and extended a lot of muscles has to work mostly the muscles of the legs your glutes which means your butt then your hamstrings there are three of them at the back quadricep which is four of them put together then there are adductors and abductors inside groin muscles and many many more that is why squat is such a wonderful movement remember at this point, we're talking about being at this position, which is just a squat position to talk and deal and do stuff. We're not doing up and down squat now, okay? We're just sitting here, talking to each other, having fun. In this position, almost all of the muscles are lengthening, okay? And the joints, the two joints, knees and hips are bent. That is all you need to know. The more you do this, the better it is for your health, for your body, for your joints and for your skeleton. We can jump on and become advanced and start doing back squats, front squats, but this channel is all about keeping yourself in this position. So please, two things. Make it easy for yourself. Use something. There's no point going all the way deep for a number of minutes. Secondly, just know a little bit of the science behind it because it is helpful. And these days we are all uh, geared just to find out why, who, how. So that was a point of this video today to give you a little bit of what and why. I'll see you next time.